Hey old viewers, George here, and today we're going to look at a Sailor Moon game. Now for those of you who are paying room and board for a rock, Sailor Moon was an anime series from the early 90s about a group of magical female fighters who protect the world from evil. The show ran from 1992 to 1997 and spanning a total of 200 episodes, and just last year got revived for an OVA, which is still currently airing as of this recording. So it should come as no surprise when I tell you that Sailor Moon got a shit ton of merchandise. Everything from movies, to toys, to a trading card game, to a musical. Because why the hell not? And of course, video games. And there's a ton of Sailor Moon games. Ranging from fighting games, to action platformers, and even an RPG. It's just too bad that over here in North America, none of those were officially released. No, they're only Japanese exclusives. Of course they are. Instead, we got a lovely little gem called the 3D Adventures of Sailor Moon. So yeah. Let's see how badly we got screwed over with this one. Roll the opening. Adventures of Sailor Moon is a computer game that was released shortly after the show ended in 1997 and was developed by a company called 3VR Inc. A company that worked with, and I quote, a highly motivated team to create PC games using the latest 3D technology. If you're wondering how this makes 3VR Inc. any different from any other company out there that worked with 3D technology in the late 90s, the answer is simple, it doesn't. Well, I guess there is one difference, 3VR only made one game, that being the 3D Adventures of Sailor Moon. I guess their team wasn't motivated enough because 3VR actually had plans for tons of PC games. Most of which seems to be Las Vegas themed games, but then you have games like a virtual fighter game, a fashion show game, and a virtual database, whatever that's supposed to be. Wait, what's this here? The retail volume of Sailor Moon is expected exceeding the sales of Power Rangers and Doom-like PC games. Wow, not only was this not proofread, clearly, but they seriously thought their first game was going to surpass something like Doom. You have to have pretty big balls to make a claim like that. Well, let's see if this game is any better than Power Rangers or Doom clones. So the game starts off with the show's theme song. That's a good start in... Oh. Oh no, oh no, oh, oh. what have we gotten ourselves into? Is, is that supposed to be dancing? 4PM's dance moves were more realistic than this. Look guys, I'm dancing, just like Sailor Moon. Oh look, there's Tuxedo Mask, creepily watching the Sailor Scouts dancing from the shadows. That or he really wants no part in this, in which case I really can't blame him for keeping his distance. Good god, this dancing looks fucking weird. Well, that nightmare is over now. Oh no! Queen Barrel has her hands on the Sailor Scout's transformational items! Uh, I'm sorry, but normally when someone says, Oh no, they've spilt a glass of water on the table, or they've knocked over the Jenga tower. Not the villains have stolen the only thing we can use against them. I believe the correct reaction you're actually looking for is something along the lines of, Oh shit, we're doomed! Welcome to the 3D Adventures of Sailor Moon! Oh no, you're still talking. Your mission is to uncover the Sailor Scout's hidden transformational items as you explore the various play areas. You know, you could at least try to take this threat to the Sailor Scouts a bit more... Have fun! Yeah, they don't care. So to sum this all up, the bad guys have stolen the Sailor Scout's transformation thingies and hidden them in these five play areas. Maybe, you know, run your evil plan by some friends next time, huh? Workshop it! But first, get your issues in order there. Yeah, this has to be one of the dumbest villain plans I've ever heard. And the music here doesn't really help set the tone of this whole dilemma either. It sounds like something from a kid's show. Oh, wait. Anytime during the game, you can quit by clicking on the quit button. Don't tempt me, game. Okay, so uh, let's check out the first play area. Oh, I'm sorry, I thought it was playing the 3D Adventures of Sailor Moon, not Street Fighter. 
Also, what's this cake for? We're just watching the TV. Or, uh, I'm sorry, Moon TV. Big difference. But seriously, we're just watching some random clips from the show. I don't get it. What's so special about this play area? Next. All right, Crystal Fighting Arena. Now we got some actual gameplay happening. What the fuck is this? Use the magical wand to destroy all the targets. What targets? Those things? What are they? Click on the left mouse button to move forward. Use the left mouse button to go forward? Why not just use the arrow keys or WASD like any other game? Timing is everything. No shit, Sherlock. Can you score over 1 million points? As much as I would just love to, your score counter only does four digits. Which, correct me if I'm wrong, but is significantly less than a million. So here's a problem I discovered. Turning around! I can move left and right, but beyond that, I'm stuck. Where are these targets anyways? Next is a library full of great, vast, expanding knowledge about Sailor Moon. Yeah. It's just bios on the characters from the show. That's it. What a great play area. Next is a fashion show. I'm sorry, I thought I was playing a game, not Barbie's dress up. No, no, wait. That's not even good enough to try and explain this here because even Barbie games try to have at least some semblance of gameplay. Are you guys even trying? So, fashion show. It's a dress-up game where you mix and match outfits. It's dumb. Shocker, I know. Uh, Mercury, is there a, something wrong with you? Your head's kind of big. And lastly, a sing-along. I'm not even joking. Overall, the 3D Adventures of Sailor Moon sucks. A lot. It shouldn't be a surprise either. To call this a game would be like saying soda brand licorices are great, or Toad's a deadly parasite, or the black screen's an actual game. It's simply not true. This game's so lazily made. You have the horrible voice acting that sounds so lifeless and half-assed. The controls which are broken, nonsensical. And I have to say, this is quite easily one of the most obvious games I've ever seen that is designed purely as a cash grab. For 3VR to think that this could sell anything is pure insanity. It's not even a game, and what little gameplay there is, is unplayable. Thankfully though, in this readily available world that we live in, you can play the other myriads of Sailor Moon games that were Japanese exclusives. Well, with all that said and done, until next time, keep on gaming. Hey, thanks for watching the video. If you like it, give it a like. If you really like it, subscribe for more content from yours truly. And hey, I bet you wanna watch more videos, right? Of course you do, why else would you still be here? Well, here's another review I did on the Legend of Zelda Game & Watch game, which surprisingly no one's really talked about. I don't know why. You can also check out another video I did on the top 10 DLC fighters I'd like to see in Smash due to the fact that they kind of opened the whole gates for the ballots and the requests and the whatnot and the hizzity and the what's and anyways that's just there's 10 characters there that'd be really cool to see in smash brothers so um yeah you can check out those two videos and um i don't know i'll just hang out here i guess i don't know um i i, I did a seat ask you guys to subscribe already right because um it'd be really nice to know that people like what i do here you know, I, it's been it's been a very difficult time recently, <laughs> and I I don't know what I can do with myself. Uh, subscribe for me. Thanks. <laughs>